Hello again, it's Joey John McGuire. I'm in my uh, local Weatherspoons uh, pub in Fulham Broadway. It's called the Oyster Rooms, it's uh, Lloyd's Bar Weatherspoons. Um, very first Weatherspoons I visited when I started my London journey, I think in 2005. I'm about to recite the second of two poems written uh, yesterday one in the early hours of the morning, one, uh, not the case, but anyway, uh, this one's called The Little Big Man. <coughs> Here we go. She stood defiantly before me, called me a man of straw, for the life of me I could not fathom why. After all, she knew most of what was my history, enough that she, she should have known better than to wound me so in such a spiteful, hurtful way. I had stood my ground, faced death on countless battlefields, metaphoric or otherwise, yet still somehow managed to survive. With black humour I joked, I'd look death in the eye, more times than any hangman, tongue in cheek of course, for it was almost true. She was out to rip the heart from my soul, determined to unsettle me. I know that by the look of contempt in her smile as she walked away, knowing she had won, without throwing a single punch, her accusation enough, a knockout blow. I would have done anything to have the courage to call after her, but wisdom tugged at my shirt tail, enough to warn me that all the begging in the world would not influence or change her mind about me. Years on, I regret not having the courage to at least try, for I should have told her that far beyond my portrayed image of a wilting wounded soldier, there existed one otherwise known as the little big man, the man I truly was, and if she'd bothered to look a little deeper into the soul beyond my tearful eyes, she would have seen the trauma behind which the real me was taking refuge, and she would have realised that I had always stood when outnumbered and downbeaten to face adversity, that all the while, contrary to what she had thought, there had never been a braver man than I. That's to a, a, a lady I met a few years ago, and it would be very unfair um, to name her. It shall be our secret.